The challenges in this program took place in a strictly controlled environment managed by the competition organizers. Do not attempt to copy them. of football beats on the streets. Street football is where it starts. I think that's where probably the best players have come from. It's the training ground for players with raw, natural football skills. We've got some world-class football happening on the streets. It's literally out there. It's just a case of it being discovered. But once in a generation, an amazing talent will break out from the streets. A talent like Britain's number one striker, Wayne Rooney. Rooney, past Hutton, Wayne Rooney seals it for the champions. Rooney on the post, 99 United goals. Growing up as a young lad in Liverpool, I played football on the street every day and for me to be able to put this into a TV series, it's um, something I'm really proud of. Wayne's looking to find a street striker like himself, someone with outstanding instinctive skills and the drive to win. In Street Striker 2010, I'm looking for someone who can obviously cope with all challenges well and, you know, got a bit of attitude. It combines, obviously, tricks and, and freestyle with accuracy and power. If we can find someone who's got all them attributes, then we'll get a good um, kid who will win this. This year, Street Striker is bigger than ever. Contestants have to perform in front of big crowds and face the most spectacular challenges yet. Last year, the winner of Street Striker was 17-year-old Londoner Ashley. The winner is Ashley. Ashley's prize, a once-in-a-lifetime trip to South Africa with tickets to the final of the FIFA 2010 World Cup. This time last year, I never imagined where I am today. I never expected to get past the first round, never mind win the competition. So I'm just trying to take everything in, and it's incredible. I love it. For a girl to win it last year, it's, it's, it's brilliant for the competition and gives the girls this year even more confidence. This year, as guests of Coke Zero, the winner will be jetting off to Argentina, a country with a huge passion for street football they'll get to watch one of the most exciting teams in the world, Boca Juniors, and then show off their own skills in front of a packed stadium at half-time. It's well known that uh, South Americans are probably the most flair players in the world, so I think it'll be brilliant for, the, for them to see that and, and be involved in that. Helping Wayne is ex-professional footballer Andy Ansar. As a football choreographer in films and commercials, Andy works with the biggest names in football, now, Wayne's asked him to find the best players from the streets. Andy went out to, you know, find the, the best players and then bring them back to me. You know, um, I trust Andy and his, his judgment. This is Wayne's brief. I want better than what I had last year. He wants better ability, better mental strength, and he wants to see people with some swagger. And to get the best, Wayne's up the age limit to players between 16 and 24. There's more emotion, I think, you can see in them because, um, you know, you can see how much they want it because, you know, this may be the last chance to do anything, you know, in football. This year's search for talent is bigger than ever. Wayne is looking for the country's best 100 street footballers. OK, Manchester! Hello! And to find them, massive open auditions are held in Manchester and Birmingham. Birmingham, we're in your town. Play! Touch. Effort. The trial, a unique version of Street Striker's formidable tower block challenge, controlling balls dropped from above and then striking into a skip. Let's roll. Touch. Relax. Yes. What it does is your touch, good control, and then accuracy. Wayne wants the perfect Street Striker, someone who's got the lock, you know, and it's out there. Aye, 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 give it up, give it up. Everyone who takes part has the same dream. To get the chance to play in front of Wayne Rooney, that's like a dream come true for me. It'd be big because everyone knows Rooney. Everyone, everyone around the world. 
Those who make the grade are given a pass to the next stage. One. Chloe, that's for you. Hey, give it up. Well done. Play. Touch. Takers. Time seemed to freeze and I just focused and then I just got the last ball in and when he pulled the card out, I just couldn't believe it that I was through. Effort. Only the very best get through, but lots of hopefuls do their best to impress. Ooh, <laughs> watch that camera. In Manchester, there's a surprise appearance by the world freestyle champion, John Farnworth. Touch. Effort. Although he's not entering the competition, John can't resist giving it a go, and even he finds it tough. The control was, for me, wasn't too hard because I'm used to like getting the ball high and catching it and stuff like that. But the, the thing I never do is obviously try and kick a ball away from me and get it into a thing. So that was the hard bit for me. Oh, well done, well done. Other freestylers fancy their chances. Yes, DJ. 17-year-old Ollie from Macclesfield steps up and is keen to show off. Touch Ollie. Aye! Blow! Ollie's freestyle skills leave Love Andy Ollie. speechless. Lord! What? Yes, Ali! It's a show-stealing performance, and Andy hands over one of the sought-after passes to the next stage. I want to give you that. That's something special. When you make your way out there, you're going to see what that means. This year's competition has picked up one of its first serious contenders. Hey, give it up for Oli. Yo, what's going on? I'm Oli Hayes. YouTube me. You'll be scared after you see my videos, innit? Okay. I can do everything, every single thing, and I can do it stylish, like, I make it look good, I make it look easy. 17, I can do what I can do now. Imagine when I'm older, I'll be able to do some even stupider things, like, with a football. People think that I'm arrogant and that, but I'm not. I'm just confident in my ability. Any footballer in the world, I, I'll have them a one-on-one -on -one freestyle battle and I'll beat him, hands down. And me and Rooney, I'll rinse him to pieces. Barely anyone can do it around the world. Like, that's basic, really. I've done 67 in a row. Kids come up to me and ask for my autograph, like, I'm 17, it's mad, like. And it just must mean that I'm special. <laughs> Wayne is determined no talent will slip through the net and has sent Andy to search the streets. On a South London estate, Andy stumbles across two more players who could make it into the top 100. The talent we've got here looks frightening. Rosie and Mammoth are best friends and football mad. What do you think you need characteristic-wise and skill-wise to win? Obviously, you're under a lot of pressure. I mean, it's Wayne Rooney. He's going to be standing there like he does, going, all right, go on, shoot the blow, blow, blow. <laughs> and then you've got to be there and you've got to do it. But I think you just got to kind of just pull yourself together and say, right, this is an opportunity that you probably won't get again. you just got to make the most of it. Just go out there and just have fun, like, just have the yeah. focus. Know what you're going in there for. Like, don't be silly with it, but go out and have fun. OK, let's set up something, just a little challenge. Cause this is the sort of stuff we'll do on the show. Come and come and get a hand. All right, let's set this up. All right, we're gonna do it. Let's spin it round. Grab the other end. Yeah, you know, leave it like that. That's a great start. That is a great start. This is basically just testing the accuracy. Great effort. To play in front of Wayne, like Wayne Rooney, would just that's like a dream come true sort of thing. Like he is one of the world's best players and you're going to get to show him what you can do. That's the one. Oh. I want Rooney to remember me and remember that I have something, an extra quality that maybe not other people have. One immediately, bang on the button. Well done. <laughs> I think that there's Tiny some unbelievable talent there. And I'm not just saying it, you watch how those girls play football. They've got some ability, great ability. Coming up, Andy dares to ask the question on everyone's lips. Would this be a good time to ask you about the World Cup? And the top 100 street footballers discover who will get the chance to play in front of Wayne. First row, step forward. 